I'd like to uh, share with you some thoughts about Teshuvah. Uh, we've all been working on ourselves, over, hopefully, over the last few weeks. And as we approach, uh, just put the, some things in perspective. There are two types of Teshuvah, two main types. One that's called amputation and one that's called transformation. Amputation is that person that did that sin. That's not me. I'm disconnected from that. Uh, that's a different person. I've trans. I've amputated myself from the action, uh, and I myself am somebody else. The other type of tr- of teshuva is called transformation. I I own up to my my sins. I've made the mistake that I have. I know it was me, and I need to learn from that mistake how not to repeat it. Transformation. I'm going to transform. I'm going to take that action that caused me to fall and use it to build myself up. A few years back, there was a sociologist from UPenn by the name of Charles Bosk. He wanted to do a study. He says, I want to try to figure out if we can predict what will give us the greatest neurosurgeons. So he decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to interview a bunch of neurosurgeons. I'm going to go to the top of the top. I'm going to go to the bottom of the barrel as well. I'm going to go to guys that, you know, graduate top of their class. And I'm going to go to the guys that have flunked out and quit along the way. And I want to see if I can try to predict the character of traits that would make a top neurosurgeon. So he set out on his mission and he started interviewing, uh, you know, different doctors. And almost immediately, he came across the question that was the linchpin to the answer. And he asked them, Tell me about a mistake that you've made and what you've done to correct it. And invariably, the doctors that were, that said, you know, well, this is what happened, but, you know, the, the conditions weren't perfect. Oh, the nurse wasn't ready. The hospital wasn't ready. They deflected blame on mistakes to someone else or in the bottom, bottom of the barrel. And those that were able to pinpoint to a mistake that they made and said, you know what, this just happened to me. I just did the yes, and I couldn't believe it. And I broke my brains and I sat and I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go home until I figure out how to make sure that the next time that doesn't happen to me, those doctors were the top 1%. It didn't matter what their MCAT scores were. It didn't matter what their IQ were. What mattered was, were they able to come across adversity and use it to their benefit. I think the message is very clear. As we prepare for Rosh Hashanah, we want to try to Teshuvah of transformation. We want to say, it's own up to it. Yes, we've all faltered. The Yetzirah was placed in us, and it's there for our benefit, believe it or not. And therefore, we need to use it to make ourselves better, to make ourselves grow. So don't just well, shove it under the carpet. Analyze, why did I do this? What caused me to do that? And what am I going to do the next time? And therefore, Bezat Hashem, we continue to grow. And I wish everyone Hashem, Tishkul Hashem, Rabot, Neimot, Vetovot, Hatzlacha, Bechol Tuv. Amen.